Tom here, Flip Anything USA. Uh, coming back to see uh, Randy again and uh, uh, gonna get a haircut. Can we show them real quick the plants that take 30 seconds? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, so check, that, that's fine. Yeah, check this out. I talk about tenants being assets, and, and Randy, of course, being one of my favorite tenants, he also is probably one of my biggest assets, and he does such an awesome job taking care of his property. But look what he took the initiative to do here. This is out in front of his store, and you can see he's put in these palm trees. He's got just, you know, he's got just made a little oasis out of this particular area. Uh, in front of his store. So, uh, Randy, wh what do you got here? I see cactuses and... Well, we wanted to go with basically a, a, a drought and freeze resistant look, that way you don't have to change out the plants. But we have a, um, this is like a snow prickly pear. We got some uh, Old Man of the Andes cactuses. They're real cold hardy. I got a really nice uh, agave. Uh, we also put in some, some red yucca. Uh, those do real well. And look at these, these came in from Arizona. These are large golden barrel cactuses. And huh. these things are about 12 years old. Wow, I also barrel have cactus. some fuzzy torch uh, coral cactus. Yeah. And then this is one of our tropical trees. This is a pindo palm. Pindo? Pindo, yes. Yeah. They grow very slow, but when they do, they grow like an umbrella. Wow, wow, very uh, cool. Back here, you know, in all desert schemes, you want to give grasses. We have the gold bar grass. We have the purple fountain grass. And then here are my beautiful trees. This is a Washingtonia Fontosa palm, Dang. which can freeze in the winter, but other than that, it's gonna give you beautiful fronds throughout the whole entire year. And not only that, but it stands out when people drive by, they say, hey, where are you at? They say, look for the palm trees and the flags. Oh yeah, man, that's a good, that's so, a good, good marker. Oh Perfect. yeah, we followed it in by Arizona river rock, black basalt stone, and white crushed marble to give it that true southwest look. And as when you drive by the shop, you'll see everything is just inviting. We got good curb appeal. And when this, when people see this, it carries on to your other neighbors as well. So that everybody takes the initiative to really keep the property looking excellent. Yeah, and I can time. vouch for that. It is, it becomes contagious when you have somebody yeah. that spruces up their place because nobody likes to be the, the first, but yeah, when you do it, they are here with their plants yeah. and hibiscuses. Yep. You know, keeping their curb looking good at the restaurant next door. So, between here and all here, we just try to keep it really nice. Yeah, and even like this, the sign next to him, this parking sign. It's a small improvement actually, because it used to be horrible. And <laughs> now we got a new sign oh, for, yeah. the, for the parking. So, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So we're gonna go in here. I'm way overdue for a haircut. Last time I, okay. last time I, I was, I was here. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I was getting a haircut was here and you can see he's added more couches beautiful pool table we got more chairs oh he's, you got more of the old timey chairs too yep wow yeah, just kind of gradually adding to it as time goes on because if you do it all at one time really not to look forward to and, and plus people always come in they always say hey well that's new i didn't see that last time and so they always they enjoy it. watching it grow exactly yeah, very exactly. cool <laughs> so uh he squeezed me in he doesn't normally do saturday haircuts but he was nice enough to to, to uh, get me in. I'm actually heading to Napa next week, so I'm trying to get a haircut before that. Alright. So how do you want to get it cut today? You want to just do the usual where you get it off the ears, clean it up off the back? Typical. Yeah, you can shorten it on the sides here quite a bit, and okay. maybe let it be a little bit long on top. A little bit long on top? That's the best way I can describe it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was definitely overdue. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it looks. I see you got the more chairs back there. Have you hired more people, or, or I should say, um, contractors, or I don't know how your business model works. Yeah, we we got another contractor here. Um, you know, I'm very selective when it comes to barbers. I don't just hire anybody because number one, it's I'm sharing my personal space with, you know, somebody else's life, and got to be compatible. Right? They got to be compatible, and it just takes one bad apple to ruin the whole right, bunch. Right. So I'm very selective on who we hire. Um, not only that, but um, they also have to have excellent skill. I don't really hire anybody that's not done hair but a minimum of five years in the industry. Mm -hmm. Because within the five years of you doing this, you should already know pretty much how to do every haircut or shave or just have the experience that we really need. Because when we stand behind Platinum Fades' names, 
the customers that are coming here are expecting the top of the line service from what we're trying to offer them. And uh, most of all, stay reasonable with the price. Um, you know, we're probably the best shop on this side of town. Um, and we're open six days a week. Um, other than that, I have a great staff here. Everybody's reliable, very friendly. Uh, the skill level is just incredible. And I've been doing this 16 years, six days a week. So I know exactly what to look for when somebody comes in that wants a job. Do you do any training at all? Do you? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if somebody wants to know how to do, you know, certain things, you know, I can stop and show them, or they'll, I'll just have them come over here. And everybody's pretty cool about sharing. Skills. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Whatever we can do to better our, ourselves and the customer is what we want to do. Nice. Uh, I actually had a guy come in last night, and he was trying to explain how he wanted his beard. This guy was very particular. And you can kind of tell the barber was just trying to understand what he was saying, but kind of getting frustrated because he was just like, well, there's only so many ways you can do your face. So I stepped in and I said, sir, I know exactly what you're saying. Let me take over and just give you what you want. Yeah, yeah. Within the 20 minutes that I took to really do it and I was done, the guy was completely satisfied. He goes, man, you know, it's the first time I found somebody that actually knows what I was asked that for. That personal service, yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah, it makes a big difference. And, it, and like you say, good impressions last a very long time. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's the same thing. You know, I've been in business my whole life, and uh, once in a while you'll get somebody, you'll get people, I call them time burglars, <laughs> uh, and they'll come in and they'll uh, take time and they can never be happy, but uh, but there's some people that just, you know, they want what they want, and, you know, and, and uh, you know, I respect that. They're coming in, they're paying, you know, you want to, you, if you're willing to pay for it, you know, you should get what you want. Right. So. And that's the thing too is, you know, you'll have people that come in that just want a quick cut and they just want to get in and out. I just want a quick cut, but we're selecting people that actually care about the way their hair looks, the blend, uh, the quality of the edges. I mean, it's not an in and out shop. We really take this to an artistic level. So even though it might take a little longer than your average, I guess, haircut place, Platinum Fades puts out 100% platinum work day in and day out. Yeah, nice. And so if you truly care about the way your hair looks, not just going in and just getting some hair removed, then this is definitely the place for you because we want to make sure that we give you the cuts you want with no shortcuts. Right. Well, I care, but it's not often enough. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you're busy, so. And that's, that's, you know, it happens, you know, today everybody's in a hurry. People get busy. They tend to forget about it. Um, and that and that's you know really you got to take time to have a personal service because if you don't then um, you're just gonna be running around and, and, and just not really I'm gonna try to try to say no I know what you're saying having the time for yourself it. that you really deserve yeah um, and, and not only that but there's tons and tons of shops in Austin too to get to make to get a choice so what we're here to do is to show you what we can do uh, no matter what you want style vision we can do it yeah. period Cool. Uh, and not only that, but if you guys want a great shave too, stop on by. It does take about 35, 45 minutes. Uh, it is 20 bucks, but I use the hot towels. And, and one of the videos that he's done before, when we did the, back in February when we did the video here, uh, I actually gave Tom a shave and a haircut at the same time, so it worked out good. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that funny? Yeah, it's still good. So, other than that, things are good and just enjoying the weekend and gonna get some football going on here in a few hours and you seeing about how that everything's gonna turn. Hmm? You hear about that fire up on Roxy? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, both Roxy and Broadway. I think they're both there. blocked. They have just I know it was a fire, but there's like ten fire trucks. That's crazy. Yeah, we got an incident around the corner. We're talking with the camera too, but uh, yeah, what? they have two streets blocked off. Of the yeah. fire? Yeah, I'm talking to the camera too. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, good. Sure, we're still going. Yeah, uh, but uh, I noticed that too when I turned on Anderson Mill. I said, "Boy, it is smoky." So, oh, I thought I smelled. I could smell rubber burning. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I don't know what, what burn, but. So what you got going on this week? Anything? Uh, uh, going out of town? Are you yeah, staying in town? What's going on? I'm going to head to Napa and Napa? tour some... Is that uh, California? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Napa yeah. Valley? Yeah, that's where they, they make all the big, really good cab, Cabernets mm. wines. I'm a big fan of cabs, just in the last few years. I just had some. I recently got back from New Orleans, and 
Somebody handed me a glass of wine, and normally I don't drink wine, mm -hmm. but this wine was really good. Yeah. It was not bitter at all. It went down smooth, mm -hmm. and you just feel a little bit different than drinking regular yeah. alcohol, you know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's good. Cool. Yeah. It's expensive, the good stuff, but it's, oh, yeah. I just figure I don't drink as often, but when I do, that's the good stuff. So. Yes, sir. But, yeah, in fact, I'm going to uh, Dave Del Dotto. Dave Del Dotto, he's got an event going there, and coincidentally, Dave Del Dotto was one of my first real estate mentors. Mm. He... Uh, he uh, wrote a book called How to Make Nothing But Cash or something like that. Okay. And uh, anyways, but so here 25 years later, I find out he's making wine. And I took a buddy of mine out there that he's got 1,200 bottles of wine in his own cellar here in town. Oh, gosh. And uh, he's a real, he's a real, uh, he's a wine, wine, wine connoisseur. connoisseur big time, yeah. So I took him, or we went out there, went out there, went out to Napa. And uh, sure enough, he, uh, it, it, this Dave's got some hundred pointers with Robert Parker, who's like the wine, you know. He's the expert. He's the expert that grades all the bottles of the of the, of the people that, that want to make a big name for themselves. So it'd be interesting. And now are they growing their own wine there as well, or he's are buying, they just... he bought it. He's, it's all it's all estate grown. So they have a vineyard and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a, it's it's a great it's a great trip to go out to uh, Napa. It's beautiful. Man. Weather's perfect in California. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, just it's gonna be a nice break for a few days. And when are you going? I leave Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, okay. I'll be back Monday. I love going out of town and just getting on the plane and flying. And there's a level of freedom when you're up there and flying. It just you can look down on everything, and no matter what's going on, where you're from, you just leave all that behind to go and experience something new. Yeah, it's nice not to have to look at the clock for a while. You know, my grandfather told me a while back, he said, you know, the meaning of life is a lifetime full of experiences. And you know, I kind of like, first, you know, when they told me that, I, I, I kind of like, was like, okay, what is he talking about? But then, once I really saw what he was really talking about, I, I understood the meaning of it, because there's only so much time that you're alive on this planet, so the more you can experience and get yourself out there to enjoy yeah. everything instead of the norm, yeah, yeah. it makes life worth living for. I just love it. Don't look it down right there. Well, that's good. That's good. I think the last time I went to California was probably 15, 16 years ago. We had went to Monterey for the uh, aquarium. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I've uh, never been to upstate New York at all. Have you ever been to Southern California? That's northern, central, you're talking about. But... Uh, no, I've never been to L.A. Oh, wow. Never been to, uh, what is it, uh, San, Di San Diego. Never been there. Yeah, it's beautiful. The love weather love blowing away. Oh, yeah. You have to do it sometime. It's worth the trip. Oh, yeah. I really love to go. Morning, sir. I'm wondering if we're actually going to get some rain today. It looks like it's threatening, but I don't see anything happening. I don't know. Maybe we'll get next week. Right on, man. I appreciate you squeezing me in. Oh, yeah. So any business challenges, anything interesting you want to share? Um, right now, like I said, just trying to just remain full staff at this point, you know, just trying to keep everybody here, keep the customers flowing in. You know, obviously more barbers equals more business because people don't have to wait. They can get in and out. Sure. And um, how about advertising? You mess with it or you ever? We do a lot of advertising. I actually advertise on Facebook oh, yeah. and on Google. And we get a lot of response off of Facebook because I can... Uh, network to a certain type of crowd, hmm. all ages, and certain uh, mileage in a certain radius. Yeah, you know you're, you can find your demographic. Exactly. It, exactly. You know, and you've probably got that dialed in whatever age range and but you ethnicity know, uh, maybe too. Huh? Word of mouth is the best free advertisement. Yeah, most of that, sure. Because uh, when people leave out of here, you know, they see their work and they're just like, oh, okay, well, let me go check him out. Yeah, that community impact, it's a, it's a local paper. I have not had them in here yet, but I am going to contact them and have them come out because I do want to do like an ad. They are a lot of bang for the buck. If you play it right, don't go too big on the ad. And then also, they'll give you like a free plug. And everybody reads it like, oh, what's new in yeah. this area? And they'll actually take a big city and they'll break it into, you know, north, south, east, west sections. And so it's very, uh, very regionally specific, which is very good. Well, I noticed that too. Plus, everybody gets one in their, in their mailbox. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. So that's good because, you know, that way, I know most people, they go through ads and they throw them away, but I always 
I look at them, but at the same time, I like reading the community impact because sometimes they tell you about businesses that you didn't even know That's were even there or, or yeah. they didn't exist. And uh, or I bad, think that'd be a great thing or for Or bad us. city planning. They'll tell you about bad city planning, too, which is Oh, yeah. You can see the train wreck that's coming. Mm. Yeah, Austin is still booming, and we're actually getting a lot of... One thing I noticed, too, is that after we had Hurricane Harvey, we had a lot of people from Houston and the surrounding area move up here. Uh, looking for new barbers because I think with the city being so far behind with the hurricane cleanup, people yeah. they can't sit around and wait. They need to start their lives now, start making money. And so, with that being said, you know they're moving to Austin now, and so that's also more business for us as well because they had to relocate. Yeah, yeah. So I'll hit that right there. Uh -huh. The other thing is we're going to start losing our, our our better carpenters and stuff because. Uh, a lot of people end up being storm chasers when they have storms to that degree because then there's just so much more money. You get paid twice as much if you're a drywaller or a carpenter or a finish guy or a cabinet maker. There's just a lot of reasons to move toward a storm. Yeah, they pack up and, and go where all the money is. Yeah, the money's there. Big time. So then everybody else, the places that they left, they have a shortage of good labor and then they end up having to pay a premium for the guys that did stay and did are good. Oh, yeah. And plus all the materials are going to go up because the demand for materials also goes up. You know, one thing I, I've noticed in the last week, and I don't know if everybody else paid attention, but the gas and the diesel price just escalated 30 to 40 cents higher mm. than what it was. And we had that gas shortage, you know, a couple weeks ago. Everybody was going haywire and they wanted to go get gas and stuff. But now I'm starting to see the pumps are starting to be back to normal again. But uh, it's just incredible. I went to go fill up this morning and... Yeah. Hey, two sixty for a gallon of diesel. And normally it was like two fifteen, two twenty. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how yeah. fast it escalated. But you know, when you have natural disasters going on and, and hurricanes, I guess that's just inflation is at its highest. Well, yeah, it's kind of sad. I hate it when people profit off of you know necessities. Well, tragedies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Everything going well with the uh, properties? Are you looking to, to buy anything else or invest in anything right now? I'm, I've got two properties I'm putting on the market. One of them, I, I just did a video on it. So I, I bought it 15 years ago. I went to look and see how much I owed on it. Mm -hmm. And I got like, I think I got a year's more payments. I guess I've owned it for 14 years. So I paid 105 for that thing. And I owe five grand on it. Oh, wow. And I don't want to... I think it's worth between four fifty and five hundred thousand now. So I don't want to. I'm. A, I don't want to keep it because I don't think it's going to go up anymore anytime soon. I think we've seen the bulk of the uh, appreciation. So you think the market right now is pretty much staying stable instead of it's going plateaued. up? Plateaued. I think it's plateaued. Plateaued. Okay. So I'm going to get out before it it goes the other way. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I always that's something I had thought about. You know, in the future is just you know I love being here as well, but. Uh, that might be something interesting too. Is just you know maybe a property one day. Yeah, you um, should, man. Kind of like what you're doing. Do it. And Do it. Uh, you know I love being here. I come to work every day, six days a week. So uh, I don't see myself going anywhere. I'm here. I take care. I pick up the trash that you know is outside that people leave. And when you really care about a property and, and get 100 percent out of it, it'll return the favor to you one day. Oh yeah. Well, Sometimes. you know this is a business, so this is a source of income. I, I never. I've had multiple companies where I rent it. I don't have to own everything that I that I touch. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and I remember you were telling a story one time when you was 19, how you got your first deal, and I was reading that and listening to that video, and that was just an incredible story. Yeah, um, but, but sometimes it's more practical just to rent. But you, but you, know, you just take the money that you make from your business and invest that into real estate. Right? Exactly. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And then because you're just going to rent it to somebody else too. So that's true. And keeping, you know, 100% occupancy on everything. Yeah, that's the goal. But I, I try to, if I can stay at about 95, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. There's always, you know, people expanding, reducing, going out of business, retiring. There's a, a, tons of reasons. You lose <laughs> tenants, and they're not all bad. They're just like natural causes, like getting old, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So, got this looking, looking nice. Let me get this other eyebrow for you. Oh, yeah. Shape this up for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One thing I was going to ask as well is if you needed a, a hot towel for your face to kind of make you feel a little bit better. I got some in the back. Okay, 
and I know that sometimes people wake up and they're just still trying to shake it off and, and just get going, but man, it's it's uh, they're ready to go and they're nice and hot if you'd like one just to kind of soothe your face. Sure, I might but, take one. I don't want to hold your crew up the guys. Ah, no, you're good. Yeah. You're good. We'll open in about another 10 minutes. These people, they... <laughs> they're just hanging out and get first in line. Kind well, of it's thing. crazy. Like We have guys that literally get here at 6.30 to 7.30 in the morning that wait out front because they want to be first. Whoa. <laughs> and at first, you know, I thought it was kind of crazy because... I mean, that's like three to four hours before we even open, but Saturday, the general population is pretty much off and they need yeah. to get their stuff done. Right. And a lot of times people want to get up early, get their hair cut, go home, shower, and then get ready for the day. So it, it's obvious, but these customers out here at Lowell, they come once a week and uh, they just want to look and feel fresh. People get a haircut once a week? They sure do. Wow. They sure do. Yeah, you can tell I'm not... <laughs> I get you to come in once Yeah, when he starts getting in my eyes, like, oh, I gotta go. Yeah, I should be better about that. Um, I did want to go over a uh, quick little event that we're gonna have. So next Saturday, yeah, uh, we're gonna have a small back-to-school barbecue bash. Oh, nice. And basically, what that entails is it's not a customer appreciation party like I normally have every year. It's just kind of like smaller. And uh, it's just basically to get the families together to come up here. We're going to give free barbecue, free sides. Nice. Um, I'm going to give away some school supplies for, for some families that need it. Uh, because you got to understand is we got to give back to what people give to us all sure. the time. And so a lot of people, they don't do that. They just want to collect the money and, and, and make money and that's it. But for us, we always try to give back because if it wasn't for the customers, we wouldn't be here today. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I'll give you donations for a long time to do it. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, can you do a... Oh, yeah. Can you turn that down? Do a live video. Yeah. Real quick. You're safe. Um, but, yeah, so if you guys know anybody that wants to come out next Saturday, the food's going to be ready to serve at noon. Mm. Uh, and we're just going to cater to about 150 people because, like I said, it's not as big as the customer appreciation party. And so... Um, if you know anybody or if you'd like to come out I'll you know, be in hey, Napa but yeah it, I'll it's all free word. sure and it's just for a good cause and we just want to say you know thanks to everybody for everything and uh, and so we can keep doing business from here on out yeah very cool man that's nice you put on an event like that yeah 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 the customer appreciation parties is a much bigger event and we typically do that in April when it's a little bit cooler in the spring uh, I love doing crawfish boils that really draws people up and you know when you have a whole network of, of people uh, that you can talk to your customers you get to know them on a much more personal level than just cutting their hair and saying sure. okay see you next week or two weeks All right. so it really brings us together yeah yeah very cool you know no it's very much a community and it's funny because I, I run into people that come here to get their hair cut or their kids get their hair cuts here mm -hmm. and it, it really is and I have a big company that same thing we have people that will say when are you gonna make this when are you gonna make that even though those things are already out there, but they want to buy it from me. They want to know when I'm making it. Right. So that's loyalty, and it really is a cool. It's a cool thing. It really is. So a little bit of spray in your hair, and then uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the hot towel for you, and kind of get you going for the rest of the day. How's uh everything else look? Look pretty good. Got a top of the ears. Left some length on top. Yeah, the hair Shave looks great, neck. man. Head's kind of old, but. <laughs> So anyhow, it's it's awesome. He put me in here, and but I uh, always enjoyed talking to Randy, and I like that he's uh, so comfortable being on camera and sharing his life with y'all, uh, and that's good. Uh, it's just a real treat. Okay, so put this on your hair. Just kind of soothe your soothe your face, make you feel a lot better, get you all clean. Good on my video. Hmm? Oh, you are. Yes, sir. How are you doing this morning? Right there. <laughs> you good? Did you bring me some breakfast? Pretty cool, okay. Did you bring me some breakfast, sir? Well, I'm gonna take these home, but if you want some, just go over and tell. Tell no, Carlos, give me some. Tell no, Carlos, take care of it. He got. I got an open account over there. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right. Is that yeah, Arnie? Yeah. Nice. Right. All right, sir. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Yeah, it's very cool. It really is very much a community you build around, you know? It's very oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I just come from my coffee shop. We we pick up breakfast tacos 
a mm. couple miles away and we bring them in and eat them there. <laughs> oh, yeah. People love that or, you know, always like when you see these people go to Starbucks or Trader Joe's and they want to pick up all this coffee and it's like they, they save the day at the office. You know, when a person comes in and they just got a whole tray of coffee, yeah. you know, you're best friends with anybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. Well, I guess this concludes the cut. Uh, right on, man. Said, thanks for coming in this morning. Always appreciate it. And uh, if anybody else wants a great haircut, send them on down and we'll take excellent care of them because that's what we do. Yeah, right on, man. Thanks, Randy. I oh, appreciate yeah. that. Anytime, sir. And uh, cool. And uh, that's going to wrap it up here. Anyhow, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, Flip Anything USA. Uh, just kind of a day in the life and the, with uh, today with Randy again. Oh, and yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, right on. Thanks, Randy. You're and, welcome, uh, sir. Appreciate yep. you. We'll be back. We'll talk to you guys soon.